Yeah, some famous peacocks that lived on the grounds of St. John the Divine for decades are settling into their new home. Pick 7's Greg Mocker wanted to check out their new surroundings. He's live in South Salem, Westchester County with more. Hi, Greg. How are they doing? Uh, they're doing okay. I was kind of curious. Uh, so when they moved uh, last month, I contacted Animal Nation. I said, I want to see uh, where they're living, how they're doing. And this is a, a palace for the peacocks on the grounds of Animal Nation, which is uh, the closest uh, farm sanctuary uh, to the city. Uh, there's Phil, Harry, uh, and Jim are here. And look, they, they have a new friend, too, with one of the peacocks that was uh, already here on the grounds of Animal Nation. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about this enclosure. So let's take a look around and how life is for them right now. The birds have something to say when you arrive at Animal Nation Sanctuary in Westchester County. Jerry the turkey seems to be in charge of checking out visitors. Patrick Moore is ready for the tour. That's a lot of ducks. A lot of ducks. More than 150 animals call this farm home. Some emus and llamas. The way to win over Winston is a belly rub. It's literally having a toddler for up to 20 years, you know. The newest residents are somewhat famous and known to show off. We know these guys. <laughs> our peacock paradise. Moving up from the city, the arrival of Harry, Phil, and Jim has caused a stir, which happens often anyway on the farm. Do they seem to be adjusting or do they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They yell back and forth to the peacocks we have here. The three peacocks lived on the grounds of St. John the Divine in Mooringside Heights for more than two decades. Harry had been here already due to a leg injury. The other two moved last month for health reasons. Animal Nation built this special suite. It's heated. Peacocks are tough because you can't just bring them somewhere and let them out. They'll, they'll take off. They have to learn this is their new home, this is their new habitat. So anytime we take in a new peacock or peahen, unfortunately we have to keep them cooped for at least four months. During the day they explore and eventually they should have the whole place to hang out. Jerry the turkey has already made introductions. When you give different species of animals room and what they need and shelter and food, there's no reason they can't coexist. The newest arrivals fit right in. Are there a lot of these resources available or they're not enough? What is the kind of the situation of the same? They'll probably never be enough. You can't save the world, but you can help the ones you can help and, and better educate people to be kinder, you know, and not only to animals, but each other. We got a little bit of a, a drizzle, so I'm going to open up uh, the other part of uh, the suite here where they will spend uh, the evening inside a nice warm enclosure. That's better than uh, some apartments I've seen. The, uh, the plan is for about uh, four months or so, they will kind of get used to their surroundings in here, be a little bit uh, outside, and then they'll get to uh, hang out uh, with uh, the rest of the birds and the animals here uh, at Animal Nation, which is a nonprofit, uh, relies only on donations uh, to keep going. And uh, they are always getting um, calls. The number has increased uh, uh, every year. Live uh, in Westchester County, Greg Mocker, Pix 11 News. Glad